Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be rating every player's performance from Tottenham Hotspur's 3-1 win over Brighton and Hove Albion in the fourth round of the FA Cup. We're going to start with goalkeeper and captain Hugo Lloris. Seven. Seven. Yeah, not too bad. Made a good save. Um, good distribution. Yeah, great save when um that after that deflection, I forget I exactly. It, when I think it was Ezebu Suma who took the shot, and it was yeah. a deflection, and he deflection the ball to save it. Yeah, completely shifted his body weight back and forced uh was forced into a really good save. Great collecting crosses as well. Yeah, couldn't really do anything about the goal he conceded. Um, it was, it was just an unlucky deflection. Toughy, tough one. Um, unlucky deflection off of Mr. Pierre Miholbier. Moving into our center backs. Number four, back from injury, Christian Romero. <clears throat> um, I'm going to give him a 7.5. 7.5. He was this solid today. Solid, yeah. Coming very, back, very good. Coming back from injury, he looked great. Most accurate passer to play 45 minutes or more on the pitch. 97% pass accuracy, 52 touches, one dribble succeeded. 71% of his ground goals were won. Solid, solid performance today. And he's going to improve this defense a lot. Yeah. A lot. He's going to be probably the biggest reason that we that our defense will become solid. It'll all be from Guti Romero. Uh, center back, Davinson Sanchez. 7.5. 7.5 as well. Solid again. Solid, just like the other one. Um, slightly lower pass completion rate, but in all honesty, he was... Didn't make any mistakes today. Gave away maybe one or two files, but all in all, he was pretty solid. No yeah. uh, glaring mistakes. Didn't do anything wrong for the goal. I don't think really anyone did. Yeah, really. Brighton just invented beautiful football for that. I mean, we did. I, I feel like Winksy, who is it? Winksy or Javi? Winksy. He was yeah. ball, trailing Basuma. Yeah. Could have kept up a little better, but in all honesty, he was fast, Basuma. Yeah. He was speedy around that corner. Um, and last, center back, Benjamin Davies. Ben, 7.25. 7. I'd give him a 7. He was only really because... good in the first half and the start of the second half. Yeah. But then he just faded away and he made some mistakes. mistakes yeah. yeah. Nearly lost the ball um, while coming back from a attacking corner. Lost the ball to a Brighton player. Luckily, that didn't result in anything. Uh, I believe one of our midfielders shut it down, but... Uh, ben Davies was fine in the first half, fine in the starting of the second half, but towards the end he did look to get a little fatigued. Did a lot of running today. Yeah. A lot of effort from Ben. Um, right wing back, Emerson Royale. 7.75. 7.5. He was very good today. Finally saw a very energetic. decent amount of attacking output. So close to getting his um, first goal for the club, but it was counted as a own goal. He did so Solomon well. Just, just the pace he showed there. Sped away. Yeah, very, very March. good pace from Emerson Royale. And hopefully this starts a turn for him. Because yeah. I, I think if... He was good, then he was bad for a bit, and now he's better. We like. know Doherty has been... He's getting better. If Emerson can get better, we've got two incredible right, right wing backs on our hands. Even though we didn't get um, Adama Traore. Center midfield, Harry Winks. 7.5. 7. 7.25. I'd give him 7.5. He was good today. He was pretty good in the first pretty half, good. especially. But then, faded moments, away. Moments in the second half. He did have some errors. But all in all, he was pretty good, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, pretty good. Probably, probably, yeah. Very, very good. Controlled the midfield excellently with Hoybier. And came off in the 77th minute for debutant Rodrigo Bentancur. We're going to move on to center midfield. Pierre-Emile Hoybier, who did get an assist for Harry Kane's first goal. Also, um, I'm going to give him also a 7.25. 7.25, I'd give him. One lower, half, a little bit lower than Skip, only because... Skip! I uh, sorry, Winks. Only because I feel like he made a couple more mistakes. Yeah, he did make some mistakes, but I feel like he had more of an impact on the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of balances out. Yeah. But I'd still give him a 7.5. 7. I'll answer that. He was pretty good today. Solid. Yeah. Obviously made some ex mistakes, but he did get the assist. Excellent pressure on that first goal. Um, left wing back, Sergio Reguillon. 7.5. 7. He looks pretty good today. Nearly got a goal at the end. Yeah. That was a good save from Robert he, Sanchez. He was great with Son today. Yeah, good link-up play. 
No mistakes. Not that mistakes I can think of. Really solid defending. He just sped back. Yeah. He used his pace really well as an attacking output because he'd always make that run that we needed. Kane would always be able Overlapping to find him. Overlapping run. Yeah. Kane or if Hoybier winks. Uh, I know Guti found him a couple times. Um, good good stuff. performance. Yes. Front three, Lucas Mora. 6.5. 6. Yeah. yeah. He was probably our worst player on the pitch. Um... I wouldn't say he made a lot of... Um, he didn't make a lot of mistakes, but he just wasn't in the game. Yeah, asleep. Basically asleep. Pretty much. But it, 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 I think it was a combination of him being poor, and also we just not getting the ball out to that side. he just sluggish as well. Yeah. And I think he also swapped positions. I felt like he was playing at the middle at one point, then on the right. Yeah. At times he was on the left. I don't know, he just didn't... He, I didn't see him today. I didn't see him a lot, as I did Son or Kane. So just not, not, not a great performance from Lucas Mora. Uh, left winger Hyun Min Son. 7.5. 7.25. Um, that was a great run for Kane's goal. Very, very good Wish run he got for. an assist. Yeah. Even he was goal. so close. Maybe an inch away from touching yeah. it. Um, first half, I feel he was a bit quiet. A bit quiet. I bit wouldn't say quiet. he was Second bad. Second half, though. he definitely woke up. He was up. average in the first half. Second half, he definitely he inched was, his game He's pretty game good in the second yeah. half. Um, Should have scored that one-on-one, though. There's I don't know how he missed that. Um, uh, the one where Kane scored? No, the the one on one that he sent right into Sanchez's hands. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He really should have scored that. Oh, and also that chance he just with his head. Yeah, and that one Sitter. that one was terrible. But it was a bit of a stretch, so I let him off a little yeah. bit for that one. But the one on one is just absolutely inexcusable. Um, and lastly, striker Harry Kane. Mm, Eight point five. Eight point five. Two goals. One of them an absolute beauty, the other one a striker's instinct to poach, and a very good performance. The passes he was bringing out today. Great. Oh my god. Again, like I said, he's just getting better and better this season. Tossing it out to the other side of the pitch with one casual flick of the foot. He was so, Ever since so last good season, today. his passing's been incredible. Thank you, Jose Mourinho. <laughs> um, but yeah, very, very good. Um, performance from Harry Kane. Just incredible. Very, very good. Uh, we're going to move into the substitutes now. Starting with debutant Dejan Gulusevsky. Seven. Seven as well. Um, starting, he was definitely nervous. Yeah, he- not nervous. Hesitant. Hesitant and nervous. What's he- it, nervous? I he just didn't... Want- didn't- I guess they kind of... He- his decision-making making was yeah. hesitant. Yeah. You can see... Um- he was trying to keep possession, which is good. Really made no mistakes at all. Um, he just didn't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. At times. But also, it's, it might be a fact that he doesn't know his teammates because yeah. he just came in, you know? He's been here for, what, three days? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, he's also much, much younger than than uh, Ben Tanker because he's 21 years old, Kulusevsky. Yeah. Ben Tanker's 25, and he's already played at the top level. Uh, the other person to come on in the 67th minute was Bergwijn. Six. Six, yeah. The shot he missed, that chance. Pain. It would have been a Kulusevsky debut assist. But Bergwijn, he put it about six miles over the bar. I don't know how he did that. How? It just went, like, right up. Um, Made some good runs, though. Decent runs. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, not not a, not a incredible performance from... Um, not Bergwijn, a Bergwijn, especially after what we saw he against just Leicester. Stum- he just stumbled when he was dribbling, yeah. honestly. Wasn't um, aware of where the ball was, just stumbled a lot. Yeah. Joe Roden came on alongside uh, Ben Tancourt. Joe Roden, I'm going to give him a 6.25. 6.5, yeah. Headed away a couple balls. Didn't really have much to do, um, but he did make one or two clearances and kept the defense right. solid. Now, for the one and only Ben Tancourt. Seven. Seven. Point. Two five. A tackle within like the first He looked ten energetic and everything. He looked he looked like he already fit into the team. He's so, so good, Ben Tancur. And I'm excited. I think he's gonna be an absolutely incredible sign. Could possibly be a regular starter. Regular starter, yeah, could be eventually. Alongside Pierre. Yeah. Um but very, very Yeah, because we know Winks and Skip aren't as consistent as Pierre. Yeah. And if Ben Tanker is consistent, he can play alongside Pierre, and that'd be yeah. perfect. But not, not um, you know, Ben Tanker. Good start. 
Just Yellow curious. card, so we know nice. he's going to be yeah. an excellent South Argentinian. American. Yeah, uh, sorry, Argentinian. Excellent South American at the club. Uh, Matt Doherty came on in the 87th minute, but we're not going to rate him. He was on for about six minutes and made about two passes. So what's the point in rating him? Um, but that's it for our player ratings. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you enjoy our content, comment down below what you would rate the players. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!